Hello everyone, this is Jermaine with Cypress Learning. And today I wanted to talk to you about adding activity fields to list views and your reports using Einstein activity capture. So I know there is some limitation when you're using a free version, um, have a lot of customers, um, try to switch to maybe a third party solution because you can't really report on the emails. You can't see things like last activity, it's not tracked, but that's only with the free version. If you purchase Inbox, which is a licensed version, then you will have the ability to use um, activity metrics. So I'm gonna show you that today. So the first thing you need to make sure that you have it turned on. So you wanna go into the back end of Salesforce. So you're gonna go in the gear icon, you're gonna go to setting. It's gonna take you in the back end and in the quick find, you're just gonna type in Einstein activity capture. And then you're gonna go to settings. Once you go to settings on the left, you're gonna click on settings right here. And you just wanna make sure that Einstein activity capture is turned on. And I don't have inbox and this is just my dev org, but in your org, you're gonna see one more option right here on the records that's, that activities are added to, and it's gonna have activity metrics. And then to the far right, you just wanna to toggle the switch to make sure it's on. Then once you do that, you can come in here on the front end of Salesforce and you can customize your list views to be able to see those activity fields. So it's, that's important to know because if you are using the free version of Einstein Activity Capture, you won't be able to do this or see these fields. You have to be using Inbox. So I'm gonna go ahead here and, and customize my list view and show you those fields. So we're gonna go to this gear icon here. We're gonna select field to display. And then if you scroll down here, they start with last. So you have these last 30 days activities, last seven days, last activity. Now don't get this last activity field um, confused with the other last activity field. And I'm gonna show you how you can tell the difference here in a minute, because there is gonna be two fields that's called last activity, but one of them is for inbox and one of them is just for the standard free version. Also, we got last call date, last email date. So that can definitely come in handy. Then one of my favorites here though, that I like, it doesn't start with last, but if we go back up here, inactive days. So that can tell you if someone is not updating their activities or not capturing activities, things like logging emails, logging a call, tasks, things like that. So pretty nice feature right here. But I'm just gonna go ahead and add a few. So. Let's see on the right hand side here, we'll just take off account type. We don't care about site or billing right now or phone. And then we'll just add a couple of these. So I'll add inactive days. I'll say last seven days activities, last activity, uh, last activity date. And then I wanna add both of these last activity dates because I wanna show you something if it comes up and then we'll just do last email date. All right, but there's other ones that you can add here. Last email sent date, that might be an important one for you. And then we can go ahead and select save. And before we do that, you can also rearrange these also with these arrows. So if you wanted like last activity date to be next to account name, you could do that just with these arrows right here on the left. But we're gonna just leave it like that. We're gonna go ahead and select save. And now I've customized my list view. So now if you notice, we have last activity dates and we have some that doesn't actually have this little, I'm not sure what this icon is, but you see this little blue icon right here? This identifies that it's an inbox field. So if you didn't have inbox, you would see the column like this. So that's why I kind of left this one like that. Um, so you can see that. So these signify that it's for inbox, which is the paid version. Another thing that I wanna show you, you can do, which is pretty nice, is we can also report on these fields. So if we go to the reports and we select new report, and let's just say we were gonna do an account report. We can select start report. All right, then here in the columns, if you know what you're looking for, you can start typing it in. But if you don't know, you can also pull up the little side option here and it'll show you the fields available. But if we just start typing in, say we wanna do the inactive days, that was one of the fields I showed you. Here it is right here. So now we could add that. We can also add our last activity. 
or our last call, last email date, last email sent date. And this is all reportable information. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Also, there is a way that you could add these custom fields to your page layout. So if you want to go to a lead record or an account record, it's also available for opportunities and contacts. You can also add some custom formula fields. We also have a, another video that Brandon did out there in our YouTube channel. So go check it out if you're interested in that. Hopefully this was helpful. And everyone, y'all have a good day.